Hello, internet friends. Uh, I know it's been a while since I recorded a video. I've been busy with work and other things. Uh, I did get some things done, though. Uh, in fact, if you look up at the ceiling, now there's more lights. So that's good. And also, tools are starting to get organized on the wall, which is important when you're building an airplane. You need to know when your tools are. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is something I should have done a while ago when I put these bolts in, probably in the last video a while ago, uh, is you need to check the torque. In fact, if you read section 5, I don't know which section of section 5 it is, uh, it specifies the torque values for AN bolts. Uh, it also notes that you need to figure out the torque of um, of the nut. So if it's a lock nut, you know, that has a torque value too. So I think it ends up being like 28 inch pounds of pressure that you need for these uh, rib bolts. So anyway, that's what I was doing. And now I am uh, trying to straighten out these aileron brackets. So after you attach the ribs, uh, next it wants you to build some aileron brackets. And this is going to be a spoiler alert. Uh, if you're building the RV-14 or even, I think, a 10, actually any RV now, there's a service bulletin out that I wish was just inserted into the plans right here because it tells you to go find these aileron bracket parts and guess what, they're not there. Uh, only the, I'm going to say the, um, the outboard aileron bracket parts are present because the inboard aileron parts have, uh, I, I guess they started cracking uh, on previous RVs. And so they came up with doublers and, um, to make the parts a little stronger. Well, those are included in the service bulletin that there's actually a bag, uh, included, that has all the parts in the kit. But the plans don't say, hey, go look in this bag. It just <laughs> says uh, the parts should be there and they're not. So I wish um, I hadn't spent so much time looking for that. Luckily on the Slack channel, uh, other people that had run into this were like, yeah, you need the parts in the bag. So uh, it takes a while to figure out exactly what they want you to do. Um, I promise, in the last video of whatever ends up being the series of building the aileron brackets, I will show you what the completed parts are supposed to look like. Uh, just to save you some time, because wrapping my brain around uh, the service bolt in, which like the first half of it is how to disassemble an RV that's already built and uh, do the service bolt in. Uh, but if you're building a plane, obviously you're at the part way before then, so you don't have to disassemble anything, you just build the correct part. Okay, so um, let's see, New Year's resolution, This Happy New Year, this video should come out then. Um, I have news, I ordered my engine, so I am going with the EXP 119. Um, that's the new engine that goes on vans, uh, so hopefully I get that by or in 2024 sometime. So my resolution this year is to keep building at least one hour per day. Uh, get the wings finished, get the finishing kit delivered. It still says it's on track for March. So then I'll have landing gear to put planes on and attach fuselage, which speaking of the fuselage, it's still in the hangar. I still need to bolt everything together. So another thing to do this year. Uh, so if you are following along or have any questions about building, uh, come join our RV Slack group. The link is uh, in the description. Also, there's a QR code that will pop up here. That's the invite. Just scan that with your phone and come join us in Slack. And I will see you there and see you in the next video.